What's up everyone? What you guys see here is my PR attempt with 190 kilograms, which was my one rep max like one month ago. If you guys remember the video, it was like a five seconds grinder and today I wanted to get it for three reps and managed to do so. So I was very happy that I got it. I mean, really happy. The programming has been working pretty well so far. And what I did after this is three sets of 10 to 14 reps on the leg press. And why am I filming this? Just because I wanted to show you guys my stance. And I want to apologize up front for the fucked up camera work. But it's so freaking hard to hold the camera still when pressing. And yeah, what I wanted to show you is my stance. So I've always been leg pressing with a very narrow stance. And I think this has been the contributing factor to my outer quad sweep development. So try it out, guys. I like to leg press pretty narrow. Um, yeah, in order to increase the size of my outer quad, uh, just because most people lag in this area. And then we moved on to some bench pressing. Here you see 110 kilograms for 4 reps, which is another PR of me. And yeah guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright guys, you saw the workout. Um, what I'm basically doing is full body every other day. I know I'm constantly changing things, but it's due to either injuries or because of my schedule. And the problem with my old split was, yeah, first of all I couldn't squat. And second of all, yeah, I just, it takes a lot of time if you're permanently in the gym. I mean, I had like three days on, one day off, three days on. And it, it, it just takes a lot of time out of your day. And that's why I switched to full body every other day. Um, I always love to have a pretty hard workout and then an off day so that my body and also my uh, connective tissue has enough time to recover. So what I'm basically doing is one day I'm squatting and the next day I'm leg pressing and also sumo deadlifting. This way, because my squats are pretty glute dominant, I want to stimulate more of my quads. That's why I do the leg pressing after my sumo deadlifts. And because I also want to keep progressing in the sumo deadlifts, I'm doing them basically every other workout day. So one time squatting and one time sumo deadlifting and leg pressing basically. Yeah, along, along some a lot of other stuff. So guys, check me with you at home. So guys, before I end this video, a lot of you have been asking me down in the comments how they should approach a change from, su from conventional deadlifting to sumo deadlift. So what I would do is what you would do with any kind of lift start with very low weight and work on your form when doing con conventional it, it's not that that hard to find your stance because yet you have to stand pretty narrow but when it comes to sumo deadlifting i realized that for me a wider stance so i'm almost standing near the weight so it's only like two inches apart or even one inch sometimes I just found that this works better for me and that I can lift more weight. So you have to find out what works for you in regards to your stand. And I would do that with low weight, work your way up, find your form, find the form that you can lift the most amount of weight and you feel most comfortable. And then you can work your way up and get stronger and stronger and stronger. And many people believe that sumo deadlifting will increase your everyone's deadlift but this is not the case i mean there are some people are uh, actually a lot of people who are built for conventional i think omar isaf has um, like a video up of from a silent mike or was it him i don't know but um where he actually said if you your torso is long and you have short arms do this movement um, this kind of deadlift so you can actually measure your body parts and then compare it and then you can actually try it and go ahead I mean if, if you can lift more weight with the sumo deadlifts um, you can go, go ahead and do sumo pulling but I would advise everyone to do both 
just change it up a little bit. I mean, it, let's say you are a sumo puller and do maybe 80% of your pulling sumo style and then also conventional because the conventional, yeah, it, it is a way, way longer range of motion and, you know, different styles of deadlifts will engage um, different muscle groups in a different way. So put the load more towards your lower back or your hamstrings. So I would still do both, even though you yeah you should be specialized in one. So the one you can do better. But I think I will I will still do uh, conventional deadlifts from time to time, and I would advise everyone to do that. So thanks for watching, guys. I will end this video now. See you in the next one. German gains. Peace out.